Welcome to Tuscany. In this episode, we're going to check out Pisa and Florence. The Leaning Tower of Pisa, or simply the Tower of Pisa, is the Campanile, or freestanding bell tower, at Pisa Cathedral. It is known for its 4 degree lean, the result of an unstable foundation. It's called the Leaning Tower or the Tower of Pisa, but actually it was never used for defending the city. It's part of the religious complex in the Duomo. The area will gather huge crowds in the daytime, but I found that if you take a walk past near the sunset, then you almost have the area completely free to yourself. Neighbouring the tower is the Piazza di Miracoli. Piazza di Miracoli, formerly known as Piazza del Dermo, is a walled 8.8 hectare area located in Pisa, Tuscany in Italy. Recognised as an important centre of medieval arts and one of the finest architectural complexes in the world. Pisa Cathedral is a medieval Roman Catholic cathedral dedicated to the Assumption of the Virgin Mary. In the Piazza di Miracoli in Pisa, Italy, the oldest of the three structures, in the plaza followed by the Pisa Baptistry and the Campanile known as the Leaning Tower of Pisa. The Botanic Garden of Pisa was founded in 1543 by the naturalist, physician and botanist Luca Gini. It's the first academic botanic garden in the world. The Botanic Garden harbours plants from all over the world, succulents from African and American deserts, aromatic plants from Mediterranean Maquis, species from Tuscan wetlands, several century old trees and many other plants. Tuscany is a culinary paradise renowned for offering some of Italy's most unique recipes. Cuisine in Pisa is a combination of land and sea recipes from fish and seafood specialities to game. Every meal is blessed with quality and fresh ingredients. Following my day in Pisa, I decided to hop on the train and take the hour long journey over to Florence. A journey that will cost just 17 euros or 15 English pounds. Florence, the capital of Tuscany region, is a relatively small city with stunning architecture and delicious food culture. It's one of those cities like Venice or Rome that has to be on your Italian travel route. And a stroll through the city's ancient, charming streets on foot take one or two days. As there's major things to be seen in this UNESCO historical centre. The Piazza del Dermo gathers the most important tourist attractions in Florence. The Florence Dermo Cathedral, the Bell Tower and the Baptistry of St John. This large city square contains the Basilica of Santa Maria de Fiori the third largest cathedral in the world after St. Peter's in Rome and St. Paul's in London. The Ponte Vecchio is a medieval stone arch bridge over the River Arno in Florence, Italy. It is noted for the shops built along it. Building shops on such bridges was once a commonplace. Santa Maria Novella 
There's a church in Florence situated opposite and lending its name to the city's main railway station. Chronologically, it's the first great basilica in Florence and it's the city's principal Dominican church. The church and adjoining cloister and chapter house contain a multiplicity of art treasures and funerary mon monuments. The Basilica di Santa Croce is the principal Franciscan church in Florence and a minor basilica of the Roman Catholic Church. It is situated in the Piazza del Santa Croce, about 800 metres southeast of the Duermo. The site, when first chosen, was in marshland outside the city walls. The Uffizi Gallery is a prominent art museum located adjacent to the Piazza del Signora in the historic centre of Florence in the region of Tuscany. The gallery entirely occupies the first and second floors of the larger building constructed between 1560 and 1580 and designed by Giorgio Vasari. It is famous worldwide for its outstanding collection of ancient sculptures and paintings from the Middle Ages to modern periods. Il Porcellino, the Italian piglet, is a local Florentine nickname for the bronze fountain of a boar. Milan may wear the fashion capital crown and is home to a current crop of famous Italian fashion designers including Dolce Gabbana and Giorgio Armani. Its Italian hawk couture was born in Florence, a city with four iconic Italian design brands still calling it home. Other recommendations when in the Florentine city will include going to the Bandini Gardens, the Gucci Museum and La Berta. Thanks for watching, but for now, Arrivederci.